This is a low-light amorphous silicon solar panel. The luminance of ordinary rainy days can charge the battery inside the beam. This is the horizontal tube which is used to determine whether the shooting mount is straight or not. This is the infrared hole. The alarm is triggered when the infrared light at both ends of the beam is completely blocked by the object. This is the calibration hole which is used to determine the orientation of the target during long-range target calibration. This is the on-off button for power. This is the charging interface which can be directly charged and powered by a 5V to 12V power adapter. T is the sending end. S is the receiving end. Fix the iron fittings in the product package with the mounting bracket. There are right angle fittings, cross fitting clasps and three different sizes of setting screws. First of all use small screws to fix cross fitting and right angle fitting. Two set screws must be tightened. If the installation in the opposite direction will affect the fixing of the cross fittings and the iron support, then use large screws to fix the buckle and cross fittings on the iron bracket. Two setting screws must be tightened. In the same way fix another set of iron fittings. There are two different right angle fittings for the opposite firing configuration. This one is used to adjust the left and right direction of the opposite firing. This is used to adjust the front and rear direction of the shot. They must be used together. In addition, the protruding part of the right angle fitting should be oriented uniformly. After securing the iron fitting, fix the counter shot on the mounting bracket with medium screws. Two setting screws must be tightened. Note that since the transmitting antenna is located at the top of the transmitting antenna, Therefore, when fixing the beam, please ensure that the beam horizontal tube is located at the top position, so that the beam wireless signal transmission ability is not affected. At the same time, try to fix the opposite shot on the upper end of the arm bracket. The ability of radio signal transmission to avoid the impact of the iron support. The third step is to determine the installation position of the iron bracket. The installation of the beam can be verified by observing whether the bubble of the beam horizontal tube is located in the middle position. Once you've got your location, mark the holes with a marker and punch holes. Secure the other end of the iron bracket in the same way. Try to keep the iron brackets at both ends at the same level. The fourth step is to calibrate the beams. It is better to first calibrate the transmitting beam, then calibrate the receiving beam, because when you calibrate the beam, there will be an indicator flashing at the receiving end. It is convenient for installation personnel to check whether the alignment is correct. When calibrating the transmitting end of the beam, through the calibration hole at the transmitting end of the beam, overall adjust the front back and left positions of beam. Make sure that the opposite end is receiving in the middle of the alignment hole line of sight. After tightening the setting screws and then through the calibration hole for detection, prevent in the process of tightening screws, the position of the shot is offset. In the same way through the calibration hole on the receiving beam overall fine-tuning of the front back left and right positions. Ensure that the opposite end of the transmission beam is at the middle position of the line of sight of the calibration hole. If you calibrate the beam, the light on the receiving end of the beam will blink until it goes out. After tightening all the setting screws, check again through the calibration hole. Customers can also buy the laser calibrator for auxiliary calibration work. Check the alignment of the shot by blocking holes. Please be careful not to block the infrared hole for detection with your hands or transparent objects. The correct way to detect it is to block it with a thick object. Block the beam on the top hole. No alarm. Blocking the next light hole. No alarm. Block two optical holes simultaneously. The alarm light goes off indicating that the calibration is correct.